In the regular council meeting, Monday, January 4th, 2016, it says 15 on my thing here, at 7 p.m. would I come to order. So, uh, welcome everybody, thank you for being here. If you have a cell phone, would you please turn it off and put it on vibrate so it doesn't interrupt the meeting? Certainly appreciate it. Now we're going to have the oath of office by Clerk of Council for Mr. Lowry, Mr. McIntyre, Mr. Lindsay, and Mr. Reynolds. If you all would get up and go over the wall, please, so if they want to get a photograph, they can. Thank you all for being here. Everybody listen up, please. Listen up, please. I will, uh, each council member will say their own name and then they'll repeat the rest of the oath together. Okay. <coughs> I, William Reynolds. William McIntyre. Ethan Reynolds. Mike Lowry. Do hereby solemnly swear. Oh, thank you. Do hereby, hereby solemnly, solemnly swear. swear. That I shall support the Constitution of the United States. I shall, I shall support the Constitution of the United States. States and the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I shall faithfully. That I shall faithfully. Honestly. Honestly. And impartially discharge the duties of member of council for the city of Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. You get that big old one up like, whoa, where are we at? Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Okay, Mr. Collier, if you would do a roll call now of the new council, please. Mr. Here. Mr. McIntyre. Here. Mr. Lennox. Here. Mr. Lindsay. Here. Mr. Rick Lauer. Here. Mr. Craybop. Here. Mr. Mike Lauer. Here. All present. Thank you, sir. Seven here. Okay, I would like to say before we continue that it's been an honor to be as served as mayor for the last four years. I hope the city will continue going forward. I feel the last year has been very fruitful for us, and we will continue to get better and better. And thank you all for the support out there, and we really appreciate it. So thank you, and thank you for being here again tonight. Now we're going to election of mayor, vice mayor. We need to be elected and appointed by motion. If Mr. there is a motion, please. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I move we appoint Mike Lowry, mayor of New Carlisle. Second. You can do both at the same time if you'd like. Let's do, one, let's do one at a time. You want to do one at a time? Okay, thank you, sir. I have a motion. We have a second. Okay. The, the original motion by Mr. Reynolds. Yep. Second by Mr. Lindsay. Any discussion? Discussion, council? Anyone? I'll say something. Okay, please, go ahead. I, I feel like we should say <laughs> something. We're liking it if you want to say something, too. Um, one of the neat things I like about about Michael. It's not just the work that he does up here, but it's the work he does outside of council that I think really makes him one of the real assets for the city. Um, he's there making the airplane parade uh, possible. That's something across the Miami Valley. Actually, it might be the only one in the country where you can see antique tractors pulling airplanes. The ball drop we just had, he and his committee worked real hard to make that happen. Um, we had some issues with the pool. He went out there uh, and fundraised for the pool, donated his time working in the pool when uh, the rest of us didn't do that. Um, he really puts himself out there to make New Carlisle a great place to live. And so it's not just the work he does up here, but it's really the work he does outside of it. And I think that he would, he would do a great job um, because of, of all that he's done for this town. 
Thank you, sir. Anyone else like to say anything? You can call for the vote, sir. Mr. Rick Lowry, abstain. I guess I can vote for myself, so yes, yes I can. <laughs> Mr. McLaughlin. Absolutely. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Thank you. It passed 6 0 to 1 well. 1 abstain. <clears throat> Congratulations. <clears throat> Now, if we could do the vice mayor, then we'll change seatings and so forth here. If you would, please, and we'll get that done. Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to make a, a nomination for vice mayor, and that is uh, Mr. John Kraybacher. Second. Okay. Anyone? Yes, sir. I guess I'll talk again. Um, John, John is... is yeah, I've known him. He's known me since I was a, a little kid. Um, used to go to his house, we'd play, hang out with the boys all the time. And he's really a man of great faith. Um, he does so much for his church. If you've never been to the Brethren Church and see all he does, all the volunteering, um, just about everything from helping out in the services to helping out in the food kitchens. I know now he's working on, on something to get uh, gardening, sustainable gardening, so people can learn how to, to raise, grow their own food here, um, people who might uh, be without. And He's a guy you can go to for just about anything. Uh, he and his wife have done an awful lot uh, for the town and are very much involved in the church, one of the most prominent churches we have here in the city. And so I just want to say it's great to have good man faith here. And um, he's also a great councilman, has been for a very long time. And so, uh, like Mr. Lowry, I'm thanking Mr. Craybacher for all the work that he's done. Thank you. Amen. Anybody else? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> would, you, would you call for the vote, please? <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Yes. Yeah. Mayor Lowry. Yes. <laughs> that is you. You gotta get used to that. Right. Mr. McLaughlin. Absolutely again. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. No. Mr. Lindsay. No. Mr. Rick Lowry. Absolutely. <clears throat> yes. Pass five to two. Thank you. Congratulations, John. All the best. Now, why don't we all switch tables here and you get to go forward? All righty. The new bear in place. Don't, don't hammer too hard over right here. Too hard. Uh, uh, I'm being chased out of here. Yes. Please say something. Yes. Uh, I have a new gavel and I have a new. Um, Okay. And when we get that in, that will be engraved and passed on to uh, Mayor, Mr. McLaughlin. Right. You'll get a new gavel. Everyone will be getting new name tags to match Mr. Lindsay. The current name tags are in the metal. They no longer make. Uh, mayor, you will say Mayor on top of yours as long as your name. Vice Mayor, we'll have hmm. Vice Mayor and Mr. Kreebacher, and the rest will just be names. Hmm. Um, so as soon as uh, I had to wait to find out how the vote was going to go to order that, Okay. The gavel and knocker has already been ordered. It will be done in the Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Lowry. Yeah, I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'll steal it. I'd just like to say something about what uh, Thanks for all you've done. Um, I love what you're doing. I've seen you work at the festival as well. Many, many, many hours. Thank you. And I know towards the end, you know, you have a little kind of tired of that. So that, you, you're right, but you've done an excellent job for the city. I've called you many times to disagree, but we've always worked things out and I've got it done. And your first interest is always for your Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Anyone else? Okay, uh, I would like to say something too before we carry on. Uh, first off, I want to thank council for the appointment to me. <clears throat> Uh, I choke up easy, so bear with me. Uh, I want to thank a handful of people real quick, and I'm not accepting an Oscar, but a handful of people I want to say thank you for getting me here. Uh, obviously, my 
parents, my wife and kids. Um, take your time. Take your time. It's emotional time. I got a lot of guidance from, from Lowell, my parents obviously. Uh, Mr. Bender's here tonight. He, uh, you know, he was a big inspiration for me getting on council and I want to I thank him. And uh, just, you know, everybody that, that helped me learn things along the way on being on council. You know, Lowell, Lowell's, I wish I could follow anybody else but Lowell. I mean, he was, I think, the best mayor of the city could have ever asked for. Uh, so, uh, you know, to follow you, that's a, that's, a, that's a tough one to do, but I'll do my best. But, yeah, thank you, you know, to the council, my family members, uh, you know, Bob Bender, my parents, my wife, and my kids for everything. Thank you. John, before we move forward, let's move forward. Um, Law, you know, I've known Law for 20 years, 21 years, 21 years, and um, you know, on council and off council, and um, you know, in the last four years have been a tough year. The last two has been really tough, and, but he, you know, he persevered, and we've gone forward, and you know. We've changed city managers, we changed fire department, and you know, he's done a good job. You know, he's, he's kept us cool, believe it or not. You know. So, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Appreciate it, John. Thanks so much, sir. All right, I'll we'll move forward with the invocation from Councilman Lowell McLaughlin. Can I stand, please? please. Lord, thank you so much for allowing us all to be together. Thank you for this council, this new council. Let us all work together to bring the good things that the city deserves. Just remember that the money that we collect is the citizens' money, and it needs to be spent in the way that would be good for the entire city. And again, thank you for everybody being here. Thank you for our health, and God bless America. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. We use the flag in the back, please. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have actions on the minutes for a regular meeting on December 21st, 2015. So moved. Second. I'm sorry. That was good. Oh. You're good. So there's any discussion? Any discussion? Okay. I missed, I missed the uh, motion. You caught me off guard there because I thought we would can't be on the agenda there. I'll say it again. I couldn't hear you. Oh, yeah. the appointment of the clerk. Oh, yeah, we need new appointments for us. Oh, okay. Appointment of the clerk. Clerk of council and appointment. I withdraw my motion. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we just realized that. Okay. We just put We're back on 2B. For clerk? Yes. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I'd like to make a motion we reappoint Mr. Collier as our clerk of uh, council. I'll second, second that. It's, it's acting clerk. Acting clerk. It's our acting clerk. Uh, sorry. I need to rephrase. I must amend. Well, I make a motion to amend then. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Lindsay made a, a motion to reappoint the acting clerk, Gene Collier, to clerk of council. Oh. Yeah. Now he's amending. I'm amending it. <laughs> yeah, you're not the acting, are you? <laughs> The second was Mr. McLaughlin. Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> Any discussion? No. Ms. Kraybacher. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. what you said, <laughs> <laughs> I got my line up all right here. Let me, let me get this right. <laughs> Drop day. Mr. Kraybacher. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. There's no chance we can get Claire back, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a wonderful guy. There's always one. 
he can vote no. That's the that's bill on yeah. Yes. Uh, Mr. Reynolds. Yes. That's the bill on Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry. Yes. Mr. Lewis. <clears throat> yes. Pass seven to zero. Okay. Okay, so now we can move on to. Oh, hey, one more. Uh, Mr. Go Mayor, Act. motion to appoint uh, Howard Kitko uh, as acting clerk of council in the case of absence. What about Donna Megan? Oh, and Donna Megan. It's a rough day already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a second, anyone? Second. Mr. McIntyre, second. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry. Yes. <clears throat> Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. Craybock. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Pass seven to zero. Okay. Moving on to number five, uh, action on minutes for regular meeting December 21st, 2015. Mr. Mayor, we'll, Mr. we move. Mr. Reynolds. We adopt. Uh, I have to lost my spot. Uh, I motion that we adopt the uh, minutes. minutes of council. Whew. Good Lord. <laughs> yes, this has been a bad day. It's, it's, it's a new year. It's we got a bunch of new people. It is not our sheet. It's catching. That's what this is all you have to do. This is called creatures of habit. You're in a different seat now. I am. That's why they all move around. I just don't know what to do. We'll get it worked out. Yeah. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Look, who made the second on that? Not I. I agree. Nobody's got to hold up to it. Wow. It's going to be a long year. <laughs> Any discussion on the minutes? No. You call for the vote, vote Gene. Mr. Craybacher. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Lindsay. Abstain. Mr. Rick Lowry. Yes. Mr. McLaughlin. Yes. Pass six zero to one. One abstain. Okay. Okay. Communications tonight, none. And the city manager's report. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the council members of the public. If I can share with you the city manager's report. We got a lot of new faces in the audience today, so it's glad to see everyone uh, show up today. Uh, my name is Randy Bridge. I am the city manager. Um, just so we can introduce everyone. This is Howard Kiko. He's our service director. This is Ms. Lynette Dinkler. She's our law director. Uh, moving on to the report, we'll just jump down to the informational items. Included in the city manager report uh, this week uh, is um, the 2016 city council meeting dates. So they're right here. If you want to go ahead and just plug these into your calendar, um, it's all a nice little neat little uh, page for you right there to do so. Pretty informative stuff. And the next one is just really for our council members, but that's always included in the packet as well. So these are the pay dates of the council members. Unlike city employees who are paid every two weeks, council members are paid on the last paycheck of the month. <coughs> then also council attaches your rules of council. Those will be passed out the first meeting in January, in which we're at today. Please review these at the next council meeting. You guys adopt these. So uh, any changes that need to be made can be discussed amongst yourself and then um, let me know so you can vote on the changes and I can update the actual packet. Um, moving on, the trash bags are now being sold at Marathon Gas Station. They are no longer being sold out of the city building. Um, uh, moving them to Marathon is, is just easier for our citizens to get. We all know the city building does close at 5 o'clock, so if you get those after work, it's hard for you to get them. So again, they are being sold at Marathon. Marathon does have a way more extended hours than the city building does. Um, so please stop in and visit Mike. He'll take great care of you. Uh, and there is a, a date change on here. It's, uh, the next union meeting is actually tomorrow, January 5th at 10 o'clock. So I'll be taking care of that. And then um, I will let uh, everyone know the next steps after tomorrow. But that's all we have for the city manager for, for this year. Any questions? This week. I have a question. Trash bags, are they going to ever go back to speedways? Um, at this point in time, I, I don't know. I mean, that's the answer I have to give. Um, okay. Right now, I think Good Speedway is focusing on keeping the store operational. Um, if you haven't stopped in and seen the new Speedway, please do so. Uh, they are extremely busy. I actually spoke with Daryl this morning. Um, they are having a hard time keeping food on the shelves, and there's always a line 
Wednesday before our special meeting, I stopped in every single gas pump was full, and they had a line of probably 10 people. Mm -hmm. So it is flying, it's, it's doing very well, it's flying above all the numbers they thought they would have. So please stop in and say that. But to answer your question, I'm not sure at this point. Okay. Good. Mr. Lawler? My question also concerns the trash bags, and I think Mr. Craigbaugh can probably answer this question. Now, I'm not, and I hope I'm wrong. Was it not the Marathon gas station when you pulled them out of there because they were overcharging? Oh, well, yeah. they are allowed to overcharge yes. because yeah. if you run your credit card, then they're true. going to have to occur fees. So he was operating at a loss. They were not pulled out of Marathon. He pulled it himself from talking to him because there was apparently a check issue that was double checked. Okay. Um, now, with that being said, Mike is selling single bags. You don't have to buy the bundle when you go to Mike. A single bag is five dollars and twenty-five cents, and the bundle is twenty-six. So he incurs a loss every single time he does that, whether it be man hour loss, whether it be credit card processing. Me and uh, former Mayor McLaughlin did have a meeting with Waste Management, a very upfront and honest meeting with them, because it was beginning an issue getting the trash bags. Not only an issue for our citizens to get the trash bags, but also us to get the trash bags at the city building itself. Mm -hmm. You know, so moving forward, I think Mike Marathon is going to take good care of everybody. I do like the fact that he is selling single bags. Mm -hmm. That is that for some of our LA residents who that one bag doesn't last in a very long time, they're not having that big upfront cost to have to pay the twenty anywhere from twenty three point six dollars for the bucket. Thank you for clarifying. No problem. I appreciate it. Sure. Finally, for one, I just wanted to clarify, just to let everybody know, he has to put a thousand dollars up to get the trash bags, and that he was double charged, so he was actually in the hole a thousand dollars, and that's the reason that he quit doing it, but they have refunded that money back to him now. They found out their mistake, and that's why he's now selling them again. It's a service for the community. Yes, he's charging a little bit more, but he would not be able to get them otherwise if he wasn't willing to step up and to do that for the city of New Carolina. The man's been a great person for the city. Anytime we've gone to him for money for the heritage of flight, or for the ball drop or any other function. He has come through and donated money from that business for the different enterprises. If you get a chance, thank him. He's been doing a great job for the city, I think. And he did leave the phone call today saying if there's anything the city needs me to do in the future, please do it. So we got a real community player in here. Uh, Amen. He's a great, great, great job. Mr. Kirby. When's the contract up for Waste Management? Uh, I want to say 16 this year sometime. Sometime? Yeah. I want to say don't quote me on this, but I think it's a June or July. I think it's really close. Yeah. Around. I don't think it goes like year to year. I think it's actually mid somewhere. Okay. Any other questions on this side? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. Mr. Lindsay. The, uh, I just had a question on the trash bags. Why did Speedway stop selling them? Speedway Is stopped selling them because they sold them only at the location that was torn down. They didn't sell them at the location of Carlson. So okay. when they closed the one out across the street, the other one just didn't pick up. Anymore. Whose decision is that to pick them back up? Honestly, the manager it, or it is, corporate? Or? It, the city has nothing to do with trying well, to I understand that. that. But um, that was a decision I think probably made from Speedway Corporate. I think it had to do with billing and collection. Oh, okay. Thanks, sir. sir. Uh, Mr. Burge, I had a question. How is it done in other communities? Is it done similar way, do you know? Is it like sold at a local gas station in other cities? Uh, or is honestly, it better? what is I've it, seen is there's not a lot of people out there that have trash bags. They even have they either have a big rollaway cart or they have a much smaller rollaway cart. You know, for, for us to have trash bags, that's just kind of unique. Anybody knows any other municipality, please correct me. I'd love to look into it. But from what I can see, for one of the few of us, I do have a trash bag. Thank you. <laughs> but we also have a higher elderly population. I think a lot of them, okay. which comes into play with the trash bags, which mm -hmm. helps them out a great deal. Thank you. Anything else on your manager's report? No, I'm good to go. All right, moving on to resolutions. None tonight. Uh, ordinances, none tonight. Move on. Uh, moving on to, oh, hold on, let me back up here. Comments from, yes, comments from members of the public. If anybody in the audience has anything they'd like to say, please step up to Mr. Cobb. <laughs> My name's Ronald Cobb, 202 Bell Drive. <clears throat> Congratulations to the new people. I hope you do a good job because I'm going to be here to get you. <laughs> now, on the trash. 
waste management has been real bad the past year and a half. My trash wasn't picked up till a quarter to six tonight. I don't think they should even be considered for a contract when it comes up. I mean, I always liked Rumpke and, and Allied. I got good service out of them. And yes, I do have two of the totes is what I use. I don't use bags. But like I say, they're not, they're not dependable. So I think the city should look into somebody else besides them. They was, I, my opinion, you was too quick to jump on the contract the last time with waste management. I really feel that way. I wasn't here the first time around, so <laughs> moving forward, um, I've had a lot of complaints about waste management. Um, again, we'll put it out for bid and see who bites back. Um, at the end of the day, we have to do, I, I, my responsibility is finding that fine line balance that benefits the city and the, and, and the residents and business owners. <clears throat> so I'll have my work cut out for me, um, but you're not the first person to come in. Good. Thank you, Mr. Cobb. Anyone else in the audience have anything they'd like to say now? All right, thank you. We'll be moving on. Okay. So, resolutions, none tonight. Ordinances, none tonight. And we'll move on to other businesses. Mr. Call, if you'd like to read through those. City offices will be closed Monday, January the 18th, in honor of Martin Luther King Day. With that in mind, for everybody here, the next council meeting will be. Tuesday, January the 19th, is a holiday, 7 p.m. here. So just don't, don't show up on Monday night or anybody here. So. Crime Watch meeting, uh, Wednesday, January the 13th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shoulder House. Some community events, there'll be a community garden, garden meeting on 1 uh, 5 16, that's tomorrow night, right? Mm -hmm. 6 p.m. at the New Carl Library. And the joint government meeting will be Monday, February the 29th at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House, and that will be hosted by the New Carroll City Council. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. All right, executive session, none tonight. Um, does any other council have anything else they'd like to discuss or go over? Mr. Mayor, I move we adjourn. Sure. Uh,